Welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can determine quantiles or quartiles, quintiles, deciles, percentiles uh, using SPSS. Um, now SPSS only has one way to actually calculate them. Um, there are, strictly speaking, different ways that the, uh, these quantiles can be defined. But uh, SPSS has one built-in uh, formula for them. Um, it's uh, available under Analyze, and then Descriptive Statistics, and then Frequencies. You then get the Frequencies pop-up menu. Um, I'll reset it, and I can choose any of my variables, so uh, as long as it's ordinal uh, or scale, and move it to the Variables list. And then you can go for Statistics, and in here you can either specify you want to see the quartiles, or you can actually specify the percentiles. So, for example, if I wanted uh, quintiles, so every 20%, uh, I can just add 20, and then add, and then 40, and then add, and 60, and then add, and then 80, and add. I can also specify to also see the quartiles. Click on continue, and if you want, you can click immediately on OK. You'll then also get the frequency table for the variables, but I don't need to see the frequency table. Well, actually, it can be useful, because um, if we now run this, I nicely get all the requested percentiles. Notice that the quartiles are also listed in here at 25 and 75. So 25% of all the scores had a value of 2 or lower. Now, SPSS actually reports the numerical value, uh, so the code. It doesn't actually show which category this belongs to. So this 3, I actually have to look up in the table. So 1, 2, 3, I assume that was uh, neither disagree or agree. Um, it's even better to actually look at how the variable uh, was coded. So under variable view and then look under the values and then you can actually see which values were assigned. So yeah, that's how you can actually uh, come up with the, uh, the quantiles um, uh, using SPSS. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.